All right, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and move on to our grammar work, our grammar page. So get out that big yellow page for me. Mine is white up on the board. That's okay. Yours should be yellow. It says word work and grammar at the top. Now, for box number one this week, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the first one with you as an example. And then um, you're going to have to do boxes two and three. And I will read these and check these when you turn your packets in. But please make sure that you have your parents check your work if you're not working with them, okay, when you're all done. So this week, boys and girls, we're really focusing on adjectives. So we've talked about nouns before. Remember, nouns, a person, place, thing, or animal. We've talked about verbs, a verb, a verb. We do it, do it, do it. But this week we're going to be focusing on adjectives, which we've also already talked about, but we're going to be talking about them even more in, in more depth this week. So adjectives. Adjectives describe other things, okay? Usually they describe nouns. So if you know what a noun is, this is really going to help you with um, these activities that we do and answer some of these questions because if you can spot out those nouns, you're going to be able to locate a lot of those adjectives that are either in the sentences or be able to um, use your own adjectives in the sentences. And that's exactly what we're going to do for box number one here. So what the directions state, expand each sentence. So right now, they give us a very boring, simple uh, preschool sentence, okay? Something that is we can do better as first graders. We can write a better sentence than what they give us, okay? So the first sentence that they give us is, let's go over their example first, okay? They gave the dog walked. Is it a sentence? Yep, it has a star, the dog, and what did the dog do? It walked, so star doing something. It is a sentence, but it doesn't give us much detail. And using or getting that detail, we can use adjectives, words that describe. So let's look at what they um, redid their sentence or how they rewrote it. The hairy dog walked in the wet mud. So they found dog in the sentence, and dog is a noun, it's a thing, right, or an animal, and they describe the dog. It's not just a dog, it's a hairy dog. Maybe it was a big dog, a black dog, a dirty dog, okay, a mean dog, a nice dog, a fluffy dog. We could have used a ton of different adjectives, but they used hairy, okay. The hairy dog walked in the wet mud. Well, here's another noun, mud. It is a thing, something we can touch. And how did they describe mud? The mud is wet, okay? The wet mud, okay? Um, again, we could have come up with a million other adjectives to describe the mud, but they used wet. So in this sentence, they used hairy, and they used wet as their adjectives. And that is going to be my challenge for you. When we rewrite these sentences, you have to at least put two or more adjectives in your sentence for it to be correct. So I'm gonna do the first example for you and then you're going to do questions or um, sentences two and three. So let's take a look. The pig dance. Well, what's the noun in the sentence? The pig dance. What's the noun? The noun is pig. A pig is an animal, it's a noun. How can I describe the pig? I can use numbers. I can use colors, I can use size, I can use shape words, okay? Um, I could use, um, I already used colors, um, like words like wet, okay? So um, think of things like that, numbers, colors, shapes, um, sizes. Those are all adjectives that we can add. So I'm gonna use a size. Pigs are usually pretty chubby, so I'm going to say the fat pig, because pigs like to eat, okay, and that's how they give us some good bacon, right? All right, so the fat pig danced, but where did he dance? Why was he dancing? How was he dancing? We can answer some of those questions to add extra detail into our sentences. So I'm going to say the fat pig danced on the table. Well, what kind of table? Table is a noun. How could I describe the table? Well, pigs usually are muddy. So I'm going to say the dirty table. So the fat pig danced. Where did he dance? On the 
the dirty table. And there's our T, B L E, what we learned last week, table. So, how many adjectives did I use? I used two. The fat pig danced on the dirty table. So, I completed the task because I used two adjectives. So, again, you're going to find the noun in the sentence, okay? Describe that noun, and then you need to give extra detail, okay? So this one ate. The cat ate. Well, here's our noun. You're going to describe the cat. Where did he eat? How did he eat? Why was he eating? What was he eating? Okay, go ahead and give those details. And then question or sentence three, the dog swam. Here's our noun. The dog swam, so describe the dog. Where did he swim? Why was he swimming? Okay, how was he swimming? So again, give those details and rewrite the sentence. For number one, you can copy my sentence or you can come up with your own as well now that I gave an example. So that is up to you. If you wanna copy my number one sentence, you can go ahead and do that um, or you can make up your own. But from there, you're going to at least make up your own sentences with two and three. Now remember, two adjectives in your sentence, two words that describe. When you're done, you need somebody to check your work before it gets turned back into me in a couple weeks. So go ahead, pause the video, get those sentences done. When you hit resume, I'll meet you back on question or box number two. All right, box number two, we're gonna be working with inflectional endings, all right? Endings we've been talking about all year. ES endings, ED endings and ING endings, okay? So we're going to complete the chart here. They give us our root word or our base word off to the side. We're going to be taking those root words and adding the endings all throughout the box. Now, if you take a look, boys and girls, cry, try, spy. What do you notice about all of these words? They end with who? They end with Mr. Y. So all of these, we're going to be changing the I, Y to an I and then adding the ending, except when we get, let's see if this works for me, over here. When we get over here, we're going to um, kind of pause here and take a look at that ING ending, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to focus on these first two sections here first. So our first root word is cry, cry. We're going to add our ES ending. So our word becomes cries. So we're going to write our cur, Y becomes an I, add the ES. So now we have our hunk and chunk, I, E, I, cry, cries. Then I want to change it to cry, cry, cries, cried. Again, C, R. I don't want to write my Y, change the Y to an I, add your ED. Cry, cries, cried. The next word is try. We're going to do the same thing. Write your blend, Y gets changed to an I, add your ES. Try, tries. Now for try, put your blend, tr, put your I, not a Y, add ed now we have try tries tried and for the last one we have spy same rules apply Sp add your i e s spies there are many spies throughout the world spy spies spied Sp i spied on my sister yesterday at the party spy Okay, so there we have changing our Y to an I. So why did I highlight this box here and why didn't we go through those? Because, boys and girls, our ending here is I-N-G. If we change our Y to an I and then add our ending, okay, do we want two I's together? No, we do not want two of those vowels like that together here. So for the ing ending, our root words get to stay the same. So actually for ing, we do not have to change 
the Y to an I because we don't want two I's going together, those two strong vowels. So we're going to write our root word, cry. Then you get to add your ending, crying. So this box is actually the easiest because we, we don't have to make any changes. Trying. I am trying my hardest. Trying. And the last one, spying. Write your root word, then write your ending, ing. So let's read these words all together going across. Cry, cries, cried, crying. Try, tries, tried, trying. Spy, spies, spied, spying. All right, awesome job. And our last box for today, circle the adjectives. Remember, adjectives describe. So we can ask ourselves, is it a person, place, thing, or animal? Is it something I can do? Or does it describe something? Remember, numbers, shapes, sizes, colors, those are all considered adjectives, those types of words. So let's take a look. One, one. My baby turned one yesterday, one, okay? Um, so, is one an adjective? Is one a person, place, thing, or animal? Can you one? Or does it describe? It describes, it describes, in my sentence, someone's age. My baby turned one on Saturday, not yesterday. Um, so, yes, one is a number which is considered an adjective. Numbers describe things, your age, how many there are of something, okay? So again, one is an adjective. Play, is it a person, place, thing, or animal? Can you play? Yes, you can play. So play is a verb, it does not go with an adjective. How about ugly? Ugly, is ugly a person, place, thing, or animal? Can you ugly? No, we cannot ugly. We can be ugly, but we cannot ugly. So it's not a verb. So what is ugly? Ugly describes like the ugly duckling, the story. Okay, it describes the duckling. The duckling is ugly. So circle ugly. The next one, dive. Dive. Is dive a person, place, thing, or animal? No, it's not a noun. Can you dive? Yes, you can. You can dive into water. So if you can do something, then that is a verb. So dive does not belong. The next word is hairy. Hairy. Did you see that hairy spider? Well, in my sentence, what does Harry do? Harry describes the spider. And we had Harry up here too. The hairy dog describes the dog. So, Harry is describing word, which makes it an adjective. Harry is a winner. All right, and the next one is purple. Purple. The purple grape was extra sour. Purple. Well, what did I use purple to do in my sentence? The purple grape. It describes the grape. So purple is a color word, and we also went over that colors are adjectives. So purple, purple is an adjective. And the last one is a car, car. Is car a person? Is car a place you can go? Is car a thing you can touch? It is, so car is a noun. It is something we can touch, it is not an adjective. So your circle should be one, ugly, hairy, and purple. Those are all describing words that we can use in sentences. Awesome job, boys and girls. We're done with half of the page today. Um, make sure you complete these sentences at the top. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Awesome work.